Number 50. What is the effect on the concentrations of NO2- HNO2 and OH- when the following are added to a solution of KNO2 in water? So the first thing is, since we're on letter C, right, we have to figure out what's going to happen when we add NaOH um, to this balanced equation. Now this balanced equation was figured out in letter A out of this question. So if you guys want to find out why this is uh, the way it is, check out uh, 50A to see how we write this balanced equation. Now let's just get to what's going on here. We're going to add NaOH. Now the first thing is, is that whenever you see a salt, aka an ionic compound, it's got a metal and the nonmetals, just break that up. So NaOH, if I break this down into its ions, it breaks down into Na plus and OH minus. And hopefully one of these two will be in our balanced equation. And in this case, the OH minus is in the equation. So if we are increasing NaOH, it trickles down. So that means that we're increasing the OH minus. So I just come over here and I say, okay, we're going to increase this. Okay. Now, let's just write out what we have to do. We have to find out what the effect of the concentrations of these three species are. So for NO2 minus, I need to know what's going on with that. I need to know what's going on with the HNO2. And I need to know what's going on with the OH minus. Well, we just figured out one out of the two. They told us that we're increasing OH, so this will increase. It will go up. Now we just got to find out the other two, but this comes from Le Chatelier's principle, which we learned way back in chapter nine, the gas chapter. Remember, if you increase in any amount, you have too much of it. So you will always shift to the opposite side. So since the shift is on the product side, you will shift towards the other side. So the predominant balanced equation is this, your products going to the reactants. And whenever you're going, that's always going to be an increase. So your NO2 would increase. So your NO2 minus would increase. And since we're going from right to left, the HNO2, whoop, what just happened there? The HNO2 would have to drop to counteract the increase in OH minus, and that would decrease. And that's the answer for this one. Pretty good, right guys? Hopefully this is helping. We have a couple more uh, examples with this number, so stay tuned if you guys are on the playlist. I'll see you in letter D in a little bit. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. That just helps us out, and I will see you in a little bit for letter D. Okay, bye-bye.